sitting and waiting in the truck is not cool. I am in New Mexico now for 55 hours in county. Uh, I had to take my 34 and woke up this morning to my load being rescheduled until pickup tomorrow. If you're new to trucking, or if you're thinking about coming a truck driver, uh, waiting is part of the game. It's gonna happen to you. Things happen. Loads get rescheduled. Loads get canceled. You know, so they gonna have to figure out what you gotta do, especially if you work for a company. It's not like I'm an owner operator and I can get on a load board and find something else. Just don't work that way. I gotta sit until they send me a load. That's the thing. Only good thing is this load goes to Vegas and I'm headed towards home. So I pick my load up tomorrow. Uh, I can be in Vegas tomorrow too. And then I can sit all Thursday and then I deliver Friday. You can catch me a load out of there, hopefully, and make it to home. But I haven't sat too much while I've been working. But it's been times. This is my actually my first 34 that I've spent out on the road. I usually run I-5 routes, so I'm up and down I-5. But I've been needing to get some more miles under my belt. Paychecks don't look as good when you're not running a lot of miles. And even though you can get your miles on I-5, it seems like a lot of times that you gotta the loads don't come directly afterwards so you're wasting a little bit of time and I like to get home I'm not one of those people that don't like my family you know they say if you want to be an over the road trucker that you know you must not like your family too much which I think is a lie but I've heard that somebody told me that so you know it's a part of trucking you're going to sit so if you're planning on getting into truck driving or you're new to trucking, just understand that this is a part of it. My trainer told me everything in, tra tra everything in trucking is backwards. From the parking, uh, thinking that you know everything, to just situations like this. It won't ever go smooth. So don't expect it to. Expect to have some delays. Expect to have some cancellations. Expect to pick up a load and take it to the weigh station and you can't get it weighed right. So you gotta go back to the shipper and get it reworked. Things like that happen. Expect delays at some of the receivers. Last week I took a load to the receiver and they didn't have an empty trailer for me. So I had to drop the load I had to drive all the way out the way to a company, different company, grab a trailer from their yard, and then head to my load that I need to pick up. I was late on that, you know? And then in order for you to be able to get like uh, detention pay, you have to be able to be at the shipper or the receiver on time. So. Those kind of things happen. So just be prepared for it. You know, that's life. But life is also what you make it. So I don't really get upset about things like that. I just get bored and I get frustrated. But I try to figure out some way to make my time pass. That's why you need to keep things with you on the truck or find something to do, figure out something. It depends on where you are, if you can find something to do. But you know, it all work out in the end. All right, y'all. Drunk-ass Mike, a.k.a. The Sober Trucker. I'm out.